All right, there we go. Okay. All right, there we go. Thanks, everybody, for being here at Coffee and Art in the Morning. And I thought I would try to do Inktober Day 2 and do a recording. I've been fussing with my lighting, and I just have to say <laughs> that with all my research, apparently this camera, the nicest Logitech that you can buy, webcam, does not have an auto light lock-in. So, <laughs> there's just a lot, like not a lot I can do about that issue right there. <laughs> I'm just going to have to hopefully just keep a hand there and, you know, y'all can see me doing a drawing. But this is the one we did yesterday for day one. And it's uh, a little crab. And again, I've been kind of out of practice with pen and ink. I mean, I used to do calligraphy. And I have done a lot of pen and ink, but years, I mean, like I'm talking 20 years ago. It's been a long time since I did any kind of serious pen and ink. So I'm really kind of out of practice with doing it. But that's why I thought that the Inktober Challenge, Mr. Jake Parker uh, slash Inktober.com, that um, his challenge that he has every year of a 30 days of doing a pen and ink or, you know, ink drawings uh, would help me kind of like get back in practice. <laughs> Jeannie draws my toes. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, so we got some people here this morning. I, I just not an announced uh, video, uh, an announced Ustream, but that's that's where I am. I'm on Ustream and uh, with live people here. And uh, so I, it's a, not an announced video. So I'm just kind of here wanting to try to draw another day's Inktober. So what I thought I would do today is I'm going to try to do another something sea creature-ish. And I wanted to do a starfish. Now, um, the thing about doing these drawings like this, some might be smaller and larger, but, you know, I may do more than one on a day, um, so I'm not sure how that will work. I don't know if I should put them all on one page or just do multiple pages. I know there's not, like, any really rules about it, but, um, hey, Sarah. But anyway, so I think today I'm just going to draw... Um, I'm going to sketch out a starfish and then pen and ink him, and we'll see how it goes. So thanks, everybody, for just stopping in if you saw me go live. <clears throat> so I'm, I've got my tripod set up so that the camera's, like, really close here. So I'm hoping that'll keep the, at least the, uh, the focus clear. But um, the lighting fading in and out like this, there's really not anything I can do about that with my camera so anyway we'll just soldier it's never an issue with anything but white paper so it's just white paper that causes that to flash in and out and there's no auto uh, lock auto light lock so it's just like I gotta go with I go with it let's see I think I want this to kind of come down and I'm, I'm drawing real lightly right here. I don't know how much you'll be able to see of this little sketch until I start going over it with pen and ink. But uh, I'm just kind of just a basic starfish. I'm not putting any color in it or anything. It's just going to be pen and ink. And that's it. So I'm just going to sketch it out a little here. And this pad, this little uh, sketch pad, is just a Strathmore white sketch pad. It's not even drawing paper. It's just sketch paper, eight and a half by five and a half. Sure, I'll lock in my. <laughs> Thanks, Marilyn, for being here. All right, so and everybody else. So all the little bumps and and all that stuff that is on the. 
a starfish. I'm going to just do that in there with the ink. I'm not going to draw that out. So I'm just going to make sure I kind of have a good outline here. That's pretty good. All right. So, yeah. You can kind of see it. Hey, McLinda. Everybody else popping in? Thanks. I guess y'all either... Hey, Pearl Ann. I guess uh, either Eileen tweeted or y'all got notification that I went live <laughs> on your email. Thanks for being here, guys. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, do the same thing I did yesterday. Use the brush. Again, I think this is a, the same one that Pentel uses, although when I got it at Blick, it doesn't have Pentel on the, uh, I need a paper over here to roll that out, make sure I got a nice tip. Um, it doesn't say Pentel on this. I think it's the same one, though, that you can get at Michael's. And I'm not sure, I think these are refillable. I have to ask Lucy Jane. Or maybe one of y'all know if these are refillable. Anyway, and then I'm using the Faber-Castell Pit size small right there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start by kind of mapping in some of the little knob. Uh, not, they're not knobs, they're like uh, bumps <laughs> on here kind of going down the spine. We'll see how this goes. Just going to kind of lightly sketch it in and then I'll put more definition as I go. It's kind of two rows of, and I'm not counting them. I'm not like, oh, let's get that. I forgot that one. Although, you know, technically, it, you know, I would do well to like do it exactly. But I'm just going to kind of. Hey, Janet. Good to have you. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. So I'm just going to draw, I'm drawing a starfish today for the October Inktober Jake Parker challenge that he does every year. And I've never done it, never done this challenge, but I wanted to do it this year just because I wanted to get back into practicing some pen and ink that I haven't done in a long, 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 long time. So anyway, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, this needs to be dark right in there. <clears throat> so hope everybody's doing doing well today. Thanks, Eileen, again for popping in and helping me with the lighting thing. Um, I was, if you're just coming in, I was saying earlier that this camera apparently does not have a light lock on it. So I can't lock in my lighting with this camera. And Eileen went and looked and apparently on the website, the Logitech website, and apparently a lot of people are complaining about that. That they, you know, that's an issue with this camera. Which, it's the nicest Logitech they have. It should be, you know, they should have a lighting lock. They have a color lock, an autofocus lock. They have everything, have other kind of lock. <laughs> lock the light, people. <laughs> oh, right, Eileen. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably have to figure it out getting a different camera. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Eileen. You know, for webcamming, I mean. 
All right, so I kind of got uh, the basic idea. I kind of want this a little bit more, maybe right up there. All right. Yes, they need to hire Jean, don't they? They need to hire Miss Jean to tell them how to work this stuff. The things that we need. <laughs> All right, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and now stop with that. Well, maybe not yet. Wait a minute. I'm going to make sure I don't lose some of these little... I think I added one more too many, but that's okay. <laughs> Thanks, McLinda. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead with the brush and just like for the, you know, the bigger black areas. But I have to be careful that I want to leave any highlighted areas, like right along that spine right there. Because, you know, I'm not going in here with any white ink, which you could, you know, I'm just trying to make myself kind of just work with this, you know, I'm going to be careful right along those edges. Just to kind of make myself do that. But that's just me. I mean, I'm sure there's no real rules to any of this. I mean, rules as far as the challenge goes. Just leave some little specks of white there and here and there to indicate. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of challenge myself. Not that I don't ever draw any ink. Y'all see, you know, you see, saw my glue book combination ink drawings I mean I do and the Danny Gregory type you know sketch every day type thing where you uh, sketch you know all your clothes and your food every morning and all that but I just really wanted to do a little bit more detailed kind of drawings a little bit more in-depth kind of drawings that's what I was kind of going for in this challenge. Let's see here. I want that to be I missed what Dee needs to have a have a few cameras for each color I use. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh. It is though. It is frustrating to the the streamer, you know, that you, you know, there's all these things that that just sometimes don't work or, you know, have issues with, and you can't do anything about it. But anyway, I think I'm gonna just kind of make these kind of bumpy under there, a little, but not a solid line, just some little darker indications where the little bumps are there. And this one, same thing, come around this way. Just a few, not as many on this one. But I really just wanted to, you know, get better at like the brush and, you know, different things. Hey, Angie, how you doing? <clears throat> so if you're just joining me, this is Inktober Day 2's drawing. And uh, Eileen was nice enough to come over and help me with checking on my lighting situation. Any bumps on that side, too. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. 
Need some bumps over here on the side before I this kind of has a little ridge. I want to try to capture some of these details. <laughs> oh, Lynn, I so get that. Oh, Lynn was going, my, my scholar pre, um, prismas don't layer that well. That great. <laughs> I, I, they'll, they'll do okay, but I, I know they're not going to do, they're not going to do the same job as the uh, premieres. And seriously, I think I want to go find me some, uh, go on Etsy, I mean uh, eBay and find me some, uh, of the old school. I had to hold my breath right there. For some of the old school uh, Prismacolor. But I do like just holding this little brush. It's kind of fun, actually. Kind of fun to just kind of pat, pat, pat in your ink there. <laughs> Again, there's some little indications of little butter bumps on the side there. And under here, it's a little darker. So anyway, I just found all kinds of sea creatures and some, what do you call it, um, you know, shells and fish and I would like to do a clownfish too. I mean, I love drawing, painting, you know, doing um, drawings, pencil, color pencil drawings of clownfish. But pen and ink, you know, unless I add, the, of course, you can always add color. I mean, I can go in there and add orange and whatnot to these. You know, I'm just trying to keep them kind of black and white. Can I explain this brush? Not really. <laughs> I think Pentel makes one. Let me, I have a picture um, on my phone. Hang on, I'll show you the, well, no, I can't show you the picture now. It'll flash out my camera. <laughs> But anyway, Pentel makes one similar to this. You can get it at Michael's, Angie. And they're, uh, I think they're in the drafting section over there, you know, the art and drafting section. I think they're over there by the art, the drafting section. <clears throat> and Pentel makes them. This one is in, uh, I can't tell you what it says. It's all in uh, Japanese, I think. Chinese? I can't, I, I mean, my, I cannot focus on those letters. No, there will be none of those, Eileen. None of those. So anyway, and some I know are refillable, and I don't know if this one is. I don't, I, uh, well, let me see if I kept the packaging. I might have that. Hang on, guys. I'm not sure if I kept it. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so it is made by Pentel. It's just not on here. This is what the packaging looks like. Okay, but Pentel is just not on the actual pen itself. It's just called Arts Color Brush. It has black ink, pigment ink in it. And I just did a little test here. 
I think I'm somebody told me this one's refillable. Yes, the ink is inside. Um, and I know some are refillable. You know, I'm used to using just the water brush, you know, where we just use water, you know, uh, let me find one. You know, these. No, dig one out here. You know, water brushes like this. For neo colors and your ink tints and all that. I use I I basically have the water brushes to use not for doing watercolor paintings because I don't watercolor out out you know when I'm out um, I just draw and sketch when I'm out I don't carry around colors and paints and water brushes and all that when I do drawings like at the museum or the or the um, aquarium or anything like that but I use these for my neo colors okay. Um, and it, so I'm not, it's not that I'm not used to using a brush with pigment or something, but yeah, this one I got at Blix, Angie, and they look, the packaging looks, a, it looks a little different at Michael's, but yeah, look for the Pentel Arts Color Brush, and again, it doesn't say... It just says permanent, whether this is refillable, or I did, I don't remember I think somebody when I and also that was the other thing is when I got it somebody had to show me how to get it flowing you had to do something now I don't even remember what it was I leaned I don't remember what we had to do to get the it, there's something on the inside you had to do to get it flowing I'm not used to these brushes I'm telling you I'm just used to you know ink <laughs> hey, is it Lisa? Hi, Lisa. <laughs> I don't think we have anything to worry about, Eileen. <laughs> oh, yeah, Janet. Janet can mod. She can go sit. She, I know what it is, Eileen. You're just lonely over there on in in the mod corner. So anyway, I'm not, I'm just not really familiar with these brushes. So I'm enjoying using it, you know. I really am enjoying using it. Of course, I'm doing more talking than inking here. But, you uh, <laughs> know what I mean, Vern? And I think around, I want to, there's going to be some shading kind of like right around these little knit, little, you know, bumps on there. But I want to do that with the smaller, the pen, because I don't want those to be thick shadows. I just want some little thinner shadows there. Okay, so let me just kind of. Take a sip of coffee. It shows as refillable. Thank you, Janet. Now I have to figure out what it can we use any ink? Can like can I use this kind of ink? You know? I don't know. I have to research. You can see how often I use this stuff, right? Okay. Give me a give me some uh, color pencils any day. But I am enjoying it. Don't get me wrong. I love little details like this. I usually just don't um, have the time. To do to do this stuff you know because I'm working on so many other things but I just decided that this month I was going to do the uh, inktober challenge just because I wanted you know to get kind of I don't say get back in practice but sort of like you know because I used to do pen and ink a lot and I've shown y'all some like Claudia I think it's pronounced nice it could be niece it's it's spelt nice. <laughs> Claudia Claudia nice does a lot of pen and ink books. Um,
Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, Eileen's probably got more than multiple ones of them. She just forgot. Eileen, the enabler elf, I'm sure has one of these pens. Probably mm -hmm. multiple ones. <laughs> Love you, Eileen. <laughs> but yep, yeah, she's the enabler, that's for sure. She'll find you a bargain in a heartbeat. A sale, a bargain, a coupon code, the mm. newest, latest, greatest things. Eileen's all over it. <laughs> uh, I'll just kind of indicate that. I need to get out my. I gotta. I want to. I'm gonna hit this with the heat gun in a second and erase my pencil line outline here because I'm starting to follow it in areas that I shouldn't be following it it was just a sketch and I don't want to get the sketch um, I don't want to follow a wrong sketch line that was just a sketch line Yes, Mr. Jake Parker. If anybody is, uh, yeah, it's Inktober. He does, yeah, I think he's done it for five years. Thanks for, for putting that link in there, Janet. Yeah. And I'll put a link in the uh, description box of this video. I'm trying to keep my Inktober videos, and I know I can't do 30 videos. I mean, I'm tempted to, but I mean, realistically, I know I can't do a video every day, even though when I get do it something like this, it's like it's my nature to like overachieve, <laughs> and I'd want to put a video up thirty of them, but I know I I do I won't be able to do thirty videos, um, but you know I I I have the urge to do thirty videos. <laughs> I mean, but I'll at least do thirty drawings. I can do that. Okay, so now these kind of have these little humps like right along this edge. That. Good, Janet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm determined to do one a day. Well, knowing me, I'll do more than one a day just because once I start doing something and I'm enjoying it, I want to keep practicing it. So it's going to be like, if I'll be doing, I'm sure, more than one a day. But I want to do at least one a day to post. You know, let's see, put a little indication of a little something, something there. I want to make sure it looks like it's and again I'm I'm having to concentrate on what to leave out so that's kind of where I'm thinking right now is like what what do I need to leave out because I can tell I want to put in more than is necessary um, to do a nice drawing you know I, I mean I want the detail I want I want it there but I also know that if you start putting in too many and that's true with drawing too, just plain old pencil drawing. It you you'll you have a you can have a tendency to put too much detail in, and then you lose you lose it. Like this is kind of folding over it's more shadow back there, but I, if I put too much more shadow, I I'm not going to be happy back there over there. <clears throat> Let's put a few little lines on that ridge. There. Okay, Sarah says she's going to do a two by two square in your very, but what are you going to put in the squares? 
you're going to do, uh, I understand what you mean about doing a grid of two by twos, Sarah, and drawing in them, but you don't mean the whole big sketchbook you're going to grid out to two by twos, are you? Oh my gosh, please tell me that's not true. You're going to do this thick of a sketchbook all with two by two inch squares. I'm waiting for the lag before I faint. Ah, <laughs> Sarah, please tell me. Please tell me you're not going to do the very big sketchbook completely. Oh, no. Okay, okay, good, good, good. You, you scared me a minute there, Sarah. <laughs> if y'all don't... Sarah, are you anywhere else besides Instagram? That's where I, I know Sarah from. She has some good drawings over there. And uh, I haven't checked on her, her latest uh, camel update. She's been working on a camel. After I do this, I can probably do something else, guys, if y'all want. You know, unless somebody else, y'all tell me if you see somebody else want to stream. This is not my normal time. Okay, so part of this, now this is where I might take, go back to my pencil for a minute. I still have more pen and ink to do, but I'm, I'm just noticing it almost looks like snake skin. The detail in, let me kind of see how they divvy up here. They're kind of like, um, it's almost kind of like a snake skin type pattern on here. And I don't want to get too carried away with it, but I kind of want to indicate so it gets smaller and smaller here. But it, it kind of looks like a snake skin type pattern on the ridge there and here. I don't know that I'll do it com solid. I don't really want to do that because I'll lose these bumps. I don't want to lose these little bump things. They're just kind of really cool. But there's like... Well, it's almost like snake skin pattern going down there. But if I'm not careful, that snake skin pattern will look start looking like those bumps. And I, I don't want them to be confused. So I'm going to have to be real gentle and real um, light-handed with um, these patterns. Because otherwise, if I do the snake skin pattern fully seeing like every little bit of the pattern, then what's going to happen is it's going to look those that snakeskin pattern is going to look like those bumps. They'll get con they'll get confused because I'm not adding any color to distinguish. So I got kind of thinking about that a little bit and maybe just maybe make them just a little bit littler. Maybe the snakeskin pattern, especially well these back here in the back are littler, but. I'm just maybe less uh, circular. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Re I don't remember. I that's me too, Sarah. I just have them all bookmarked and everything. All right, let's see. They're kind of like little U shapes down here. some indication of them because I want the to be able to tell that the starfish is dimensional you know it's like rounded so I want to make sure that these pattern things are kind of going in in a direction so I hope y'all just kind of enjoy just you know, getting some inspiration for doing some pen and ink, whether you're doing the challenge or not. It's just, uh, again, you know, I'm way out of practice from doing uh, any kind of real detail pen and ink work. But I, I, I remember how much I did enjoy it. But it, one of the things about it, it is time consuming to do this kind of thing. And so you have to, you know, Everybody has to budget their arting, arting time.
Yeah, ta yeah. Come on to Team Twitter, Sarah. <laughs> we'll all we'll hook you up. Come on there, and uh, we'll uh, all link each other up to you. you. We'll we'll find you. Tell us your name, and that you know all you need is like one or two of us. <laughs> That's all you need, Sarah. One or two of us, and then you know. Next thing you know. <laughs> But Twitter is just pretty much where we all keep up with each other. All, all of uh, the U, U stream gals, and we're all just there, and so we, we, you know, keep up with each other. But yeah, um, so anyway, if you look for hashtag Inktober and go look at uh, Jake Parker's site and his, uh, all his stuff too. He's amazing, amazing. He does uh, children's books and, well, all kinds of things. He and, uh, they have the school, Will, um. Uh, Will Terry and him have the uh, school, an illustrator school, and I think they've gone to selling in just like individual classes now. I don't quote me on that, but check it out if you're interested in you know doing illustrating. See, that really needs to be bigger, but it's too late now. <laughs> I made it too small, but that's okay. You probably wouldn't have known that if I hadn't said. So, I'm coming up off of each one of these is a little bit of that pattern. Again, I want to keep this light, these, this pattern, this kind of snake pattern thing, keep it from looking like they're those. Just want a few indications. Loopy things there. One of those things right there. Oh, you shouldn't have told that to Eileen, Sarah. <laughs> if Eileen knows you have Prime. You will be enabled like you won't believe. <laughs> hey there, Packer Die. Packer Die, did you want to stream? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just finish doing this recording here. So if you wanna if you planned on streaming while the kids are in school, go ahead and, and uh do that. Because I'm recording this. Cause I know you have limited time with it, you know, in between picking up the kids. So go ahead if you wanna um stream pack or die y'all go ahead over there I'm gonna finish up this and because uh, she doesn't have much time to stream <laughs> we we know that she gets a, like an hour like every two hours a day of her own time 
So I don't know if that if you wanted to uh, pack or die, but if you do, go ahead. Uh, I'm I'm doing this for the Inktober, and uh, Eileen was nice enough to come over and help me check on my lighting and try to get it as best as I can without a uh, auto lock in. But I know there's a lag there, so y'all just kind of let me know. Let me kind of hold it up a little so you can kind of see. Okay. I just didn't know if you, that's what you wanted to do now because I know that while the kids are in school, you don't. Uh, I'm just going to work on finishing this up. I, I'm trying to make these not too long. This is already into 40 minutes, but, you know, that's probably, you know, because I'm talking to you guys, too. I'm not just doing this. Oh, let me ask you. Well, no, I'll ask you later. I won't ask you on the recording, Pack or Die. I had a technical question. I was asking Eileen and them about it before I hit record, but I'll ask you about it after the fact. I mean, after I'm done here. I won't ask it on recording. But again, this is very relaxing to me and just kind of, as long as I don't get too worked up about perfection and just enjoy it. Because again, this is my practice. This is my practice. I'm letting you all see me practice. Oh, okay, okay, little packers. <laughs> the little packers, that's so cute when you say it. I'll kind of try to get this wrapped up here and I'll uh, kind of show y'all the crab one I did yesterday for day one this is day two I think I'm gonna try to maybe do some kind of sea creatures some you know anemones or coral or something that has to do with uh, the sea you know for this challenge unless I just totally like get uninspired to do that and I it's more important for me to finish the challenge rather than to have a complete theme for the whole thing you know it, it's to me I want to do it I want to finish it so whether it ends up being all starfish or not I mean starfish sea creatures or not I want to finish it All right, so let me kind of, I think I'm going to hit this with the heat gun so I can erase any pencil lines and then I can adjust anything that I might need to do. Oh, is, is uh, Bella okay now, Paula? All this fur baby okay let me let me make sure the ink is dry here before I erase now I'm having to go under I've got a little close-up tripod set up here for the for these drawings um, I wanted to not have to zoom when you zoom with the camera it takes away the clarity whereas if you can just bring the camera down it doesn't lose the clarity as much even though as you can see I still have this uh, I still have that issue because I don't have a light lock 
on this particular uh, Logitech. Okay, so let me dry this. Oh, Sarah, we got you on Twitter. Okay, I'll go at you here shortly. All right, so now, again, even though it's I dried, I'm still going to do it gently to make sure I'm not smearing any ink here. And if you do a brush, the brush kind, you know, with a brush, you're, you've got more thicker layers of ink on there. So you really do have to be more careful. Now, I do know some things about pen and ink from doing calligraphy for all those years, you know. But uh, it's just been a long time since I've really done any major drawing with pen and ink. I can show y'all a couple of books. If you, <laughs> uh oh, Jeannie, I can <laughs> show y'all a couple pen and ink books that are really good. <laughs> They're older ones. <sighs> and I have my, where's my brush? I know I have to give a book warning around here. Let's make sure I got them. Okay. All right, so let's see. How did I, I want to sign them all kind of the same. Let me go back to the crab here. So the crab, I did Inktober and a wand, so I'll do, just kind of want to do it the same. How do I do it again? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Inktober. This is for the day. Let's put a little thicker too. And I'll sign it. Okay. So I think I'm going to call it done. Maybe just a little indication that that color goes on down. So this is a this is like a black in here. And this is just something I pulled off of uh, Google Images for some reference to play to practice with here. And the color does kind of really come down quite far. And I think I need a little bit more shadow right here so that this you can see a ridge. Because there's a ridge right here coming down. Right here. That's the other, that's the side over there. And I want to make sure to indicate that ridge. But I don't want to coat, you know, like a black stripe. Maybe if I just pull a little line down. That. You got this. Oh, you got the Sabrina War Harrison books. All of them for five or just one? The one that has ephemera in it? Yeah. Yeah, I paid, I think I paid 30 bucks for that one, Paula, when it was new, you know. You scored on that, Jewel. I didn't see if anybody wanted to see any, uh, <laughs> I didn't know if anybody wanted to see the books, the pen and ink books. This is not so straight there. It's a little bit more. I have to give a book alert. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to stop the recording and save this so that I can uh, hashtag it for uh, Inktober. So if you want to stick around, we can see what else we can get, the kind of trouble we can get in today. Packer Die is not going to get us into trouble at her house. <laughs> uh, we can try to get in trouble here. <laughs> uh, Alright, so any questions before I stop this recording, guys? I think I'm going to call that one done so I don't overwork it. Thanks, guys. All right, well, I'm going to stop this recording. Again, this is Mr. Jake Parker 
slash inktober.com or you just look up hashtag inktober and you'll find tons of people that are doing it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere. So uh, yeah, that, that'll be my day two um, drawing. So uh, I'll be right back. <laughs>